you are new into Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, let me help you a little. Season 1 and Warzone 2 it's uh, here. As you can see we have the all three uh, games. Modern Warfare 2 with uh, play mode, weapons, cooperators and multiplayer campaign and cooperative. As you can see you can play a lot of them. The campaign, the cooperative, we have the weapons, the multiplayer wallet, the operators, the spec and the court, the battle pass with all its sectors. If you have problems into unlocking one, all you need to do is to unlock four of uh, the those and then all you have to do is to unlock the top character as you can see it unlocked the customize where you have the loading screens the calling cards the challenges and the standard calling cards the emblem and the vehicles all vehicles with uh, skins as you can see this is locked all have all of all kind of stuff this boat this looks nice and the store where you can buy uh, Call of Duty points and also you can buy uh, with those points bundles let's see this bundle that includes jungle stalker and Madden guts a hamster oh like nice oh this <laughs> hamster has a uh, claymore in its uh, its hands very nice Let's go to Warzone 2 DMZ. This is a beta. There we have the deploy, the weapons, operators, battle pass, and the store, like the Modern Warfare 2. In this lobby, you can see the missions you have to complete. The faction missions, I have one more the Storm the Stronghold. I need to acquire Stronghold keycard enemy and extract the white uh, lotus after that you can go to white lotus and black lotus after that let's go to warzone 2 the main uh, game there we have the battle royale quads duos trios and Unhinger uh, Battle Royale trios we can team up with other teams we, we can have a 6 person, 6 players team or 9 and of, of course Battle Royale solos where you uh, play for your life we have the weapons, the loadout I have a custom lo loadout with uh, M4 and uh, Hurricane there we have the tactical and the perks for the perks I'll make another video in which I will explain to you the perks, every perk the operators, here we have all operators the last 4 of the operators are from the last DLC and of course the battle pass the customize as Modern Warfare 2 and the store. Let's go to settings. There we have the search button where you can uh, search settings. The quick settings we can have at least 15 settings for easy use. The keyboard and the mouse, the gameplay and key bins. On mouse I have um, mouse sensitivity set to 8, pro players play between 6 to 8, I like to have it on uh, 8. The vertical on 1, 
and other on one. As you can see the AdSense multiplier with gradual. Add sensitivity type to relative and so on. Mouse calibration, I have my mouse acceleration zero and mouse smoothing on off. The gameplay. The crouch behavior I like to have on toggle, the prone behavior also, and the sprint. Automatic sprint I like to have on off. Tactical sprint behavior I like to have it on a single tap sprint. I play on shift key. Automatic airborne mental I like to have it on partial. And the share slide and dive inputs on independent. The movement advanced settings. The walk behavior on hold, the walk speed on like I like to have it on slow because I don't like to be hit by another players. The sprint door bash on on if you don't want the bash to bash the door when you go into a building you have on you can have it on off. The ground metal also the parachute auto deployment it will help you a lot if you have it on on. The ledge hang mental behavior, you can have it on mental only. Change camera sharp input on sprint. Look key sensitivity on one. Let's go further. The aim down sign behavior on hold. The change zoom on sprint. The equipment behavior on hold. The interact behavior also on, on press. The interact behavior on press, if you want to interact uh, with hold, it will take you a lot of time. The open mount activation, I like to have it on toggle. The armor plate, apply one or you can apply all armor plates. We have three, you can apply all three. The combat advanced settings. The depleted ammo weapon switch on on, the switch around weapon on, and so on. The manual fire behavior, I like to have it on press. And the kill size rewarding, I like to have it on numeric order. Let's go further. The vehicle camera recenter on long deploy the camera initial position i like to have it on behind the vehicle the most specific overlay scoreboard behavior i like to have it on hold you can have it on toggle the scoreboard mouse cursor i have it on off if you want to have a mouse cursor scoreboard and on map we can have leave it on on the double tap danger on moderate ping wheel delay on moderate key bins it's per personal preference on key bins. All I changed was the crouch slide and the prone. On controller, I don't play with the controller, I play with the mouse and the keyboard. So I cannot help you with, uh, with this. There we have the display mode. I like to play on full screen borderless. The display monitor, it's your display monitor, this is your video card. Display resolution and dynamic resolution, those are uh, inactive. The aspect ratio, I like to have it on white, if you play on a white uh, monitor on 32 with 9. The V-Sync and gameplay, um, gameplay and V-Sync menus, I like to have it on off, it helps with my FPS. The custom frame rate limit, I like to have it on 300 because I have a good video card. Also the menu custom on 100 and auto focus custom frame rate on 30. The shader optimization, 
the display gamma, the brightness. I, you can have uh, this on barely visible in the middle. The con contrain mouse to game window, I like to have it on off. Also the focus mode. The high dynamic range HDR, I like to have it on off. I recommend to you to have it on off because this will help you improve your visual and FPS. On quality, I like to have it on custom. Upscale being sharpening on NVIDIA DLSS because I have an NVIDIA video card. On the NVIDIA DLSS preset, I like to have it on balance between performance and quality. Also, the NVIDIA DLSS sharpness on 82, the video memory scale on 90, the texture resolution on high and all of this. As I said uh, already, I have a good PC. If you have problems into FPS, I recommend to you to give it a low, set low settings. Bullet impacts, I like to have it on on because I like to see the bullet impacts. It helps you identify where your enemies are shooting. The train memory, I like to have it on max. Also, the allocated texture percentage on 32 and the streaming on on. You can have a daily limit. The streaming quality on normal if you are streaming. Also the water coasting on on, the shadow map, I like to have it on normal. If you want uh, extra details you can have on the last setting. The spot shadow on uh, high, the particle lighting, I like to have it on ultra. Ambient occlusion on both, I like to have on ultra quality. This is those are not settings for um, low-end uh, PC, those are for some medium PCs settings. Depth of field, I like to have it on off, also the world motion blur and the weapon motion blur, I like to have it on off, and the film grain on zero. The view, the field of view, I like to have it on 130. Adds field, I like to have it on affected. As you can see, your image is narrowed. The third person field of view on 80 and the vehicle, I like to have it on wide. First person, third person, default settings. Also, the default camera. On audio mix, I like to have the headphones, master volume 72, music volume 4, I don't like to hear the music, the hit marker volume on 50 and if your device uh, system default, the mono audio, I like to have it on off, it splits between left and right audio channels to provide directional sound, subtitles I have on uh, off because I recorded the campaign. Subtitle size, if you have some uh, visual problems, you can have it on larger. The voice chat on on, so off if you want to chat with your uh, party. The voice chat device, I recommend to you to have on uh, your uh, audio card. The voice chat recording mode, push to talk and this is your uh, keyboard key. The voice chat volume on 70 and microphone test on off. This is your microphone, the microphone volume, mute yourself and connecting, maybe you will uh, talk to someone until you connect. The game voice channel, I have on party only. The Juggernaut mu music, I don't like it, so I have it on off. Also the hit marker is on Modern Warfare and mood game when minimized because I don't like to hear the game when I'm on YouTube, maybe. Also the reduced thinning sound on off. On interface I didn't change anything, those are the default settings. The menu text size, the text chat and color, all, also the subtitles again. The minimap if you want to have on square and around. If you want to your map to rotate, 
the horizontal compass, the crosshair also if you don't have a, don't want a crosshair, the hit markers, visuals, when you hit an enemy this will uh, pop up a little and when you do damage it will go red. Also if you want to have the player name, if you want to have only an icon only, vehicle hood prompts, fade after 5 seconds, the telemetry, those are default settings. If you want the gameplay tips in game, I didn't skip the introduction movie, I like to have it, tooltips and so on, network, hardware, parallax and uh, center dot, I like to have a center dot, all pro players play with it, you'll have this even uh, when you are uh, spawning into the battle royale into your plane. System key behavior on operating system and on network I didn't change anything, those are the default settings. Also here we have a search, you can search anything, any setting you'd like, I search the center dot and also you have here the search. And now let, let me give you a quick tip, if you have lag input, go to your Call of Duty folder, Call of Duty.exe, right click and properties, make sure you have disabled full screen optimization. This will help you a lot with your lag input.